Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and thank you for staying with me on the Valder Beebe Show. I'm back from my break with my next guest. My next guest is Stephanie Shields. She's here to talk about the health, 2020 healthcare survey issue from um, AFLAC. Stephanie, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, let's talk about this survey because there's a, a, a lot going on and, and, and I'd like to fit as much as possible in there. So what is the survey and why did you do the survey? So it's the AFLAC 2020 Healthcare Issues Survey. And we really were looking to see how medical costs were impacting family spending. And in particular, it was showing that families' ability to enjoy the holidays is impacted this year. It is a survey that we've done for the past two years. And our findings show that during that period of time, over 75% of our respondents reported that they were gonna be making some tough decisions about holiday spending this season. I'm so glad you, you said that because in Washington and almost it seems general society, people are going on like life is normal. And, and, and I'm just, just I, I'm amazed by that because your survey says more than one in five said they're gonna spend less on holiday gifts. Is that true? Absolutely, I mean, this is normally the spirit of giving season, but in 2020, many people are thinking about cutting back and that comes in many forms. So fewer gifts under the tree, maybe for going on that holiday travel to be with family and friends or taking on risky credit card debt. And so uh, as an example, for our respondents who had a trip to the hospital over the past year, more than half reported that they spent $1,000 or more in out-of-pocket costs. And that's about what consumers expect to spend on gift giving this holiday season. So people are thinking about cutting back because of these costs. Tell me a little bit more about the people that said they relied on credit cards. So when people are hit with unplanned expenses, they often choose some risky you know, financial decisions. And that can come in the form of running up their credit cards or taking loans from family, friends, or a financial institution, or even worse, foregoing a trip to the doctors for themselves or a family member. As the holidays uh, um come upon us, it says that we're going to be a little bit more lonely by choice. I guess people are putting the stops on, I guess, their normal planning. It's COVID-19. That makes sense. But tell me about those people who've changed their holiday plans for family and friends. Well, you know, you mentioned COVID-19. I mean, that was the third most common mentioned ailment that impacted survey respondents. And so I'm a mother of three, I'm a businesswoman. I have seen firsthand how COVID has impacted all of our lives this year. And so people are making a lot of changes from virtual school and virtual work to our social gatherings and even you know day-to-day -day events with family and friends. But one thing remains constant. Outside of even this year's pandemic, there are ailments that impact American families all the time. Things like cancer, heart attack, and diabetes. And American families are generally unprepared for these things. And that's where AFLAC can help. We cover expenses that health insurance doesn't. That, I think that's good for you to say that because when COVID-19 hit, now this is not the only problem we have. You listed them, cancer, diabetes, all those different things. We've got a lot of problems health-wise in America. But when COVID-19 hit, the hardest hit people, they say, were the elderly, but those with underlying conditions. So is this uh, AFLAC insurance you're speaking of about covering expenses, would that be attractive to those people? I mean, it absolutely is. I, you know, oftentimes when medical expenses hit at any age, people reflect back on what is my coverage? How are my benefits gonna protect me during this time? And most people think about major medical and health insurance, but that doesn't always cover all of the out-of-pocket costs that people experience. And that's where AFLAC comes in. Supplemental insurance like critical illness and accident and hospital coverage pays cash benefits to individuals to spend on anything that they need to. It could be their medical bills, but it also could come in the form of everyday expenses like their mortgage or rent, 
child care, transportation to and from the doctor. So it's really a different approach to um, run alongside of major medical plans. Well, I think it's time has come, Stephanie. I want my audience to know that Stephanie Shields, <clears throat> excuse me, is a senior VP of broker sales at Affleck. Stephanie, I think this is so um, interesting. This is so much an opportunity to help people at this time. How do they get help or how do they find out more information? Yeah, so to get more information about supplemental insurance, visit Affleck.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs> 